to another estrogen release video yes it's Wait, so, uh, push, no, button. no button. i think you could just talk to it so we just tested the sound and it sounds pretty good y'all these are my new mics link in bio L link in description yes link in description and i'm obsessed with these so let's start off the video by saying hey y'all welcome back to another estrogen release video hey I'm girls gays and days <laughs> and men Admit. <laughs> I am Asia and today's video is my first bar tour with my lovely friend Sydney. Hello. Her information is going to definitely be linked in the description below. Do you remember everything from the night? Because we're going to have to recap. Of course. Okay. <laughs> but Sydney had like the best living situation on the planet. Thank you. And it's crazy because walking distance, she has like 11,000 bars and I'm not even like exaggerating. I mean, it's, I want to say it's a good solid like 10 bars out here. This is like the first time like I've been out out. Like I've only been out to explore yeah. with you. Like New Year's and today. New Year's was a situation. <laughs> <laughs> but New Year's, New Year's. this is the first of many because we got to do stuff for her channel as well. Yes. Yeah. But I wanted to start this segment because I'm in my going out era. Period, boo. And I want to explore. I want to experience the city. I love to drink. What did Megan the Stallion say? I love to drink. Mm -hmm. What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> we outside. So. We out <laughs> so, no, seriously, this is the We Outside Tour 2023. Because oh, I like that. No, seriously, I'm like. I have to make that an Instagram caption. It's one of my captions. It the, is the caption I uh, with you and Ty. Oh. We went to the museum's last video. Actually, it might not be the it's last. It's up here. Video. It's linked up here. Yeah, it's it. linked up here. Um, literally, we outside tour 2023 because me and Cindy got so many plans this summer. I think for right now, it's I feel like, like we're behind, but we're gonna catch up. The summer's over already. Technically. It is okay. So we're seeing Joe Scott and we're seeing Beyonce. Eric Badu. <laughs> but no seriously i'm really excited. but i say that because we do have a lot of plans this uh summer um but it's not just the summer we're not going to limit ourselves to the summer no we got a lot of plans in general because life is short it is. and again i'm in my going out era i want to see the city we live in an amazing city we do, we do. city has an amazing living situation like she's close to everything so <laughs> we're going to take advantage of this area but the reason why we're here is the bar tour. I feel like we've already been talking for three minutes. This is going to be a lot of editing. Okay. Let's do a recap. So I came to Sydney's house. We wanted to get some food on our stomachs. So we went to, you're going to have to help me with the name because I do not know the name. Fogo de Chao. Say it one more time. For Fogo de Chao. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put that on the screen somewhere. And it was just supposed to be a quick situation. Terrible. And Zero out of ten. I don't want to say they're terrible. terrible. It just was the communication wasn't there. They really try to make up for it, but it was like they every time they made up for it, it like got worser. And worser is yes. not a word, but it got worser. They told us to sit somewhere, and the place they told us to sit, we weren't allowed to sit. But, we but didn't three know that. people told us to sit there, and then like three people told us we could not sit there. And at that point, no. I wasn't leaving. Uh, and I mean, we was already kind of like drinking, so it was like. Okay, can y'all? And I'm the type of person. I'm like, you know what? I'm very accommodating. If this isn't where we're supposed to sit, tell us where we're supposed to sit. But Sydney's like, no, I'm not moving. No, I'm this not has moving. been a terrible experience. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm telling them, oh, it's okay. It's, it's fine. not okay. Sydney's like, it's not okay. It's not. And she's verbally telling them that it's not okay. So it was terrible. Get I you a friend happy. that's gonna speak up. Okay. But no, it wasn't about just speaking up. It was just a weird situation because it was like we were. I felt rushed. 
they were rushing us. They were trying to give us an hour. But it, so like, Asia put her order in at like 40 minutes before it came. So yeah. they're telling us that we have one hour to sit there. And her food doesn't come till 40 minutes later. Yeah. What sense does it make that she could eat her food in 20 minutes? And it's when bar food. When we had like a whole hour and 30 minutes to eat her food. And it's bar food. But basically we were in a section where they do like the bigger presentation food. And we just had bar food because again we came in there for like a quick fill our some stomachs up put something on our stomachs and then move on to the next bar but it was just so like it was terrible and they just opened like yeah it was just like y'all i really we're we're trying to get out i felt like we were trying to leave but they kept making us stay because number one they were trying to make up for everything and number two i still didn't have my food so i didn't feel made up too but that's just me Fuck with a child if you see this they hit me us, up they gave us a complimentary i don't care <laughs> I don't call I the whole it. check. I don't care. I get it. And that was another thing. We already closed out the check. So it was like. We closed out the check when we put our orders in. Like when we walked in. Like within the yeah. first five minutes. We put our orders in and paid. Yeah. So and we didn't get our like, food for like 40 minutes. So it was really not that much they can do. But they, I, I think they were trying. But Sydney was just not going for it. And I get it. I wasn't. But that was our first bar. So that wasn't the best. The second bar. I don't remember the name. Because that's the type of person I am. We but went to Tom's Watch Bar. Was it Tap Room? We went to Tom's Watch Bar. Oh, I thought it was the Tap Room. Oh my gosh. Tom's Watch Bar. I'm going to let you look at that one because you, you don't want me to talk. You don't want me to talk. Yeah, we Fogo should rate this. Chow, for me, 1 out of 10. For me, Fogo, Fogo de, Fogo de Chow? Mm -hmm. Fogo de Chow was probably like 6 out of 10. I'll give him 6 out of 10. You were so nice. Because Bless of the experience. Heart. But I think the food is busting. I just, I want to go back there for the food. I'm definitely going to go back for the food. But, um, what was it? Tom's Watch Bar. Top Bar? Tom's Top Bar? Watch Bar? Watch Bar. Watch Bar. That was also a very interesting experience. The I'm drinks gonna were... I'm going to let Asia lead it because she don't want me to. We went, we went straight for the bar. The drinks were, they didn't have a good drink selection. I'm not trying to, I'm not in the business of. <laughs> we don't like complaining, but we're just giving you guys the raw complain. truth. I love to complain, but I don't, I never want people to feel like, you know, I don't want to dog out these restaurants because they're trying their best. But I just and feel like. And these are all like brand new restaurants. The cocktails weren't busting. And like the only, co so like we had tequila at Fogo de Chow. So we wanted to keep like, you know, in the clear tequila. Yeah. Tom's Watch Bar, the only tequila they had was on tap and it was a margarita on tap. I don't, I've never in my life seen a margarita I'm on tap. Lie. It tasted like pit. Well, I shouldn't say like that because like, well, have you drank piss before? <laughs> it tasted like, it tasted, it wasn't good. It wasn't, like, it had an aftertaste to it. I've never had a margarita unless it's like a truly or like something out of a can yeah. that's like low calorie that like is out of a can. Like, it was, it was interesting. We had company sitting next to yeah. me that were very interesting. Yeah. Overall, I think another thing was we went to, we were, we're going to these bars, but we started out like at seven, seven, eight. I feel like bars don't really start to kick off until like nine or 10. So we were kind of there early, but. It doesn't matter. The, if you th you wouldn't think that if you were there early, their service would be like, cause there's not a lot of people there. They yeah. would have more attention towards you. They would, you know, do more of these things. I mean, I liked the waiter. She she was pretty she decent. Was she, she was better was, than Fogo de Chao. Yeah, she was definitely nice. It was just, I think the the palate wasn't there. Yeah. I didn't, I felt like for a restaurant, you got to have, like, I'm trying to find the cutest drink. I need to find a drink that I could take a picture. And then if, if it's not even Instagram ready, it needs to taste amazing. Mm -hmm. And the drink didn't taste amazing, which kind of made me sad. So. Yeah. It was good. It did what it needed to do to a certain extent. The group, like Sydney said, that sat next to us was very obnoxious. Y'all ever sit next to a group of people who wanted, they want you to hear their conversation? They wanted attention. They wanted you to turn to them and talk to them. Yeah, they wanted you to engage, but it was just like, uh, no. All at 150 and we at a 10. Right. Like, now. It was just like, it was mad corny, so that was kind of taken away. But again, that's not the bar's experience. So I mean, the bar's fault. It is what it is, but... It's just, we're just giving y'all our experience. Third place. We went to three places, places right? I was Capital about to say Flight Wheel. Say that one more time. Capital Flight Wheel. Near Sydney's home, there is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bar mm -hmm. called, say it again one more time, Sydney. Capital Flight Wheel. And it's basically a Ferris wheel, and there's a bar under the Ferris wheel. Um, again, it was pretty, it's a quiet night, so it wasn't a lot of people out there, but 
guys, girls. Wasn't the best place we've been to tonight? I love the vibe. Like it was kind of chilly. Um, like you're literally right on the by water. the water. It's outdoor. It's by the water. So the the one thing that I did not like. There were spiders everywhere. I probably yeah. killed like 20 spiders. And Asia was yelling at me. She's like, I'm going to play in the water. I was going to let the spiders live. They got to die. They got to die. Yeah. But to be honest, like, the reason the reason I wanted to really kind of break this down is because this bar is the perfect date night. It is. It, and I've, I've taken another friend there. Just, like, literally paid platonically friends yes I've taken friends there and they're like this would be the perfect date even i've been like this is the perfect date night but like i'm gonna take yes. my friends it's, okay it's good for a date night it's good to take friends like it's good for anybody parents anybody anybody family members anybody to be honest the national harbor not trying to get specifics but the national harbor is literally the perfect date night mm-hmm. everybody if you're having like in the dmv area if you're having any like you're drawing up short in the date department or you're trying to figure out a nice date takes take your person to the national harbor it's literally the perfect area and on top of that like it's so much to do that ferris wheel whole situation was such a vibe so chill peaceful you can talk they have fire pits yeah so like i was saying it's cold out here but if you get next to the fire it's just so like it's perfect but um yeah, I, Do I they love have travel versions of Reed. Travel version, I'm quite sure. Okay, put that one of those in your purse or your pocket so, like, hit them spiders. Just check underneath your chairs. Other than that, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, the spiders were kind of excessive, but it was like literally it wasn't, everywhere you went, it was spiders. It wasn't a night killer, though. Like, it wasn't a it night killer. It wasn't, but I think that's because you were already three drinks in. I feel like we were, like, zero drinks in. We were like, Technically, ah! four drinks. We split that one drink at the... Three and a half. So, I did get a yeah. free drink. I felt like a child. It still wasn't, like, It low-key my filled my cup up, though. <laughs> it did. Yes. Yes. I mean, I'm not really... We're not... Obviously, we don't... And do this we... is water and lemon. No, but to be honest, like, it's just really such a chill night. And it's funny because it didn't break the bank. I was no. gonna the what I really wanted to talk about in this video, and it's we're going on 13 minutes, so I'm quite sure this is gonna get put into another video. But what I wanted to talk to you about is that one thing about adulting, it's you, expensive. You're choosing between priorities, necessities, and luxuries, and I'm learning more and more that what I feel is a necessity is actually a luxury. So I want to get my feet done. But that's. I feel like that's a necessity for me. Like, that's bottom of the barrel. That's what I'm saying. As my nails are done right now. That's bottom of the barrel. I want to get my nails done. I want to get my feet done. I want to get a massage. You know, and all the, I'm saying want, but technically these are things that elevate your life. So that's going to be a future video. I I think that's a good segue because I want to talk about that with you because Sydney Sydney is like, she is going to treat, yes. And she knows the ins and outs, especially in this area. Of like little nooks and crannies like these special places where they really give you top tier service but i really want to talk about technically this right now is a luxury being able to go to bars don't say that i know right but i had to legit budget for this i did too but don't at, say that <laughs> at the same time i know in my near future i know in my near future i'm going to be in a place where this is going to be oh yeah or back in the day when we would spend twenty dollars on going out, yeah. and now we like we get tables and we get bottle service at yes. so and so. Yeah, gonna it's gonna be a this. cakewalk. But it's just so funny to me that things that seem like just regular smuggler, you still it's technically a luxury. But you know what? Aren't we in a recession and an inflation period? I don't even want to talk about that. That's why. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. That's a whole another conversation. But. I'm gonna end this vote. Vo- oh my gosh, I'm not drunk. I'm really not even drunk. I'm not even playing. I'm not associating myself with. This. I'm literally not even. You know, <laughs> you know, we've been in way worse situations. Like we're maybe it's the the excitement of being on camera or something. Because so, I'm not. Okay, but the thing drunk is, at all. there are literally ten people. I'm not even kidding. Like staring at us right now from across the street yeah. on a balcony. So this is this is why. Yeah. Literally They're looking all down at us. shadows right now. But I guess I can end this video off here. Thank you for watching if you're watching. Yes. 
please 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 like like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video yes peace bye everybody across the street is looking at us do you see that creepy person in like a dress i was gonna like, say do you what get, is like, that you know that it's phantom a witch. <laughs> You know that phantom off of Courage of Cowley Dog that was like waving in the wind? That's what it looks mm. like. <laughs> For real! <laughs> no. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.